Hi, how are you? So in this video, I will talk about remote work, global scale competition. So, you know, in over the last 18 months, what happened is that our lives due to COVID got disrupted. We started working from home, or at least many of us, at least who uh, the people who can actually work from home, went back to home and started working from home, working remotely. Now, this benefited both the employers as well as the employees. In many ways, like employees found a way to be to put more time into their work. Doesn't necessarily mean all the time more productive time, but more time into work because you are not commuting. Employers benefited from the fact that now they can save on, let's say on the electricity bill or the water bills and so on, like the house uh, hold uh, that, uh, that goes with uh, uh, servicing and providing those services in, a, in an office. Even coffee <laughs> in some of the office buildings or in some of the places we have free coffee and this and that and uh, other, other goodies. So you can save on. So both employers, what I'm trying to get at, and the employees, both of them, start saving. And uh, like employees, as employees, we saved on gas, like we are not commuting, or we saved on bus pass, like we are not uh, taking the public transportation. So the point is, both parties were benefited. Now, now that the COVID hopefully is waning, and I'm looking forward to it because I do like to uh, have a world where we can go out and freely mix with uh, other folks and uh, have a chat, have a coffee and so on and so forth. So I'm looking forward to the fact that uh, we go back off to some sort of normal uh, in the coming days. And now with vaccination, and hopefully you are all taken that your uh, two shots uh, that you are feeling more and more comfortable uh, going out there. But the point that I want to make is there is conversation already started, and if it's not uh, it's not something a rocket science or uh, that I'm all only talk, telling about, is there's discussion started to happen about going back to what is known as office. Now, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, many there are different schools of thought many people do not want to go back many people think that there's no point in going back we can work uh, remotely very well what is the point of going back so here is the thing that i would like you to consider so let's say you can work very well uh, more productively if not at least as productive as you were when you were in the office pre covid working remotely now, let me tell you something. If you can work remotely and you can be as effective, as productive, if not more productive from working from home or working remotely, then why not the job that you do can be shipped to anywhere? It doesn't need to be confined within the city, within the state or province or within the country that you live and work. It can be done by anyone around the world and let me tell you this incentive that the companies and the corporations and nothing wrong with that unfortunate reality is this is this over the last 10 20 years we understood that whether you are in a developed world or a developing world regardless there are people who are talented who are hardworking, who can actually get the job done as good as anybody so what that means is that if you are a corporation or if there is a corporation out there, you want to make more money if you are a for profit organization. So if you want to make more money, why do you want to make more money? Because you want to go, let's say you are a public company, you want to return it to your shareholders because that's what it's all about. Like whether it's your pension fund, whether it's like you own stock or anything, at the end of the day, you want to return the profit to your shareholders. If I'm a shareholder of any company, I want to make more money, like whether that's dividend, whether that my uh, profit or my stock value, capital value is increasing, all of that is good stuff for me as a shareholder. But that comes at a cost. And many of us, when we own stock or we own any other investment or any other type of instrument, we might not be thinking. We are thinking only that whether my uh, stock price is going up or whether I'm making more money, whether the dividend is going up and so on and so forth. So all of that comes at a cost. And I want you to think that any work that can be done remotely is a candidate for outsourcing because the corporation would want or you will want uh, 
um, the corporation would try to find the best value and best value not always means does not always mean lower cost based value can be there is people out there who can do the job much better more productively than you and i can do and so best value and they can find that worker or maybe workers around the globe for example you don't need to work only from eight to five or something along those lines you can have worker around the globe let's say three workers and get the job done let's say you are doing a design project rather than having one engineer one civil engineer and one mechanical engineer and so on and so forth working on one project and they need three months let's say you have three people working around the world and maybe you can cut down i don't think you will be able to cut down one to one like three months to one month because you have now three different engineers working now you have more in interfaces that you need to manage but more importantly you might be able to cut it down by 50 percent, maybe 40 percent, and that's a great savings if you can also do it for cheaper price so point is that i would like you to think if your work can be done remotely your work is a candidate for outsource and if your work is a candidate for outsource, then you start need to think that you will be competing against a global talent pool. So think ahead, think smart, and think from that angle. And if you think that there needs to be regulation, this and that, I don't think so. You know, at the end of the day, when I went to Walmart to buy this chart, unfortunately, and I'm not advertising for Walmart. Walmart didn't pay any money. Hopefully they will, <laughs> but they didn't pay any money to say that this is from Walmart. And if I'm buying something from Walmart because it's cheap, because I'm looking for a cheaper product, then at the end of the day, we will be looking for value. And we, you and me both looking for value. We go to Costco, we go to other places when there is like sale going on and this and that. Why? Because we are looking for value. So the people who we work for will also be looking for value. And that value will come at a price. And that price might not be understood right now, but it will be a conversation that will happen very soon. So when those CEOs or those uh, management is saying that, hey, you know what? I want my workers to be back in my office. I do not see a problem with that because at least you know you are going back to a job. Start thinking, Say your, uh, mention your comment or your thinking uh, in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.